Okay, back what we're doing. Uh, we're going to continue. I, I tell you what, what you do is you kind of carve and, and then feel how it feels in your hand, how the knife feels in your hand, and, and sort of uh, work, work from there, in other words. But I, I found, I, I've, I've been using the Ron Wells knife. Now, once again, the reason I use the Ron Wells knife, and one of the reasons that Mike Shipley took over his knife making uh, abilities or, or his, his knife, is because Shipley, if you look at his stuff, he does a lot of smut, very, very similar to flat plane work, in other words. It's kind of like Ozark flat plane, is what we, he calls it. So that's why that I use a Ron Wells because I like the thin blade and I like it because of the flat plane work okay but that may not be the knife that you want so uh, like I said I, I have I have several knives and uh, I've got to get me uh, an Allen Allen Goodman knife or what, I, what I've heard of it uh, People like Mark Akers, people that use it, say it's fantastic, and I, I've got to get me one, uh, just a half of my collection. <laughs> Ain't nothing better than a beautiful carving knife, the way it's made and stuff. Okay, all right, there we go. Let me take the this off of here. And if you just want to, I tell you what, you know, just. Uh, Okay. All right. Well, there's the little see, and that way you've got your blade stationary. You've got a stationary well it will stay and uh uh you can carve with it. Let's see. Let's get a um get something to carve with it. Okay. Alright, let's see how it works. Yeah, it works. Works good, see? But once again, let, let, let me say this. Yeah, you can, but you see, there now it's stationary. See what I'm saying? It's stationary, and it you don't have to worry about it. And you can continue to sharpen it in such a way. But once again, emphasize, invest in a good carving knife. These are these are basically for temporary for for detail and things like that. That's fine, but invest in a good carving knife. It's going to run you. I, I think these wells cost around twenty five. Uh, most men that make their carving knives run around thirty thirty five, but it's well worth the money. I'm going to tell you something. You just don't realize it's 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 worth every penny of it. And uh, uh, so. To me, the, the exacto is just a little bit too thin of a blade, but that's all right. Anyway, let me let me uh, wet this uh, this blade, this uh, handle. Okay, there you go. That's what the. And it, 
it's, it's a pretty handle, it is, and all that stuff. But the main thing is, this blade is in here stationary. It's in here to stay. Okay? And so it won't slip out. And that's why, uh, you know, a lot of people use pocket knives. And as long as it's a lock type pocket knife, I don't mind it. That's why a lot of your uh, 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 carving pocket knives, are, they, lay, they lock the blade in. But uh, otherwise, we don't want you to get messed up with it. Okay, that's it. And uh, this, like I said, this is just for uh, people that, that uh, have a specific blade that they want, in other words. And I'm sure a lot of people can do a lot better job on this handle. I just did it real quick. But, uh, um, but it would fit comfortable in your hand. And uh, it's not a bad looking little knife, you know. And you can carve with it. But, once again, use these as, uh, as your, this, don't use this as your main knife. Go get you a good handmade carving knife. Alright, okay, God bless you now. And uh, this was a request by uh, someone, uh, just uh, what can I do, I, I have some, uh, Exacto blades that I want to that I want to use. I don't want to give them up and what can I do with them? So this is what you can do with them God bless now